you know, some people that are listening here have done a three or five day fast water fasting. And, and so for a lot of people, water fasting, they, they see amazing results with it. They feel good with it, but a lot of people are very intimidated by it and really have trouble as they get started with it. And that's, what's interesting about El Nutri. You guys have made these great food technologies where you're getting the benefits of fasting, but you're still actually eating and you don't actually have to make food, prepare food, or really think about food. Um, you know, you just, in a sense, you, you all your food in a box and it's all set out for you. So you're still feed, you're still eating. A lot of people are taking medications that you got to take, um, you know, that, that, that they need to eat with and things like that. They don't have to disrupt their day-to-day -day life with that. Yeah. And, and, you know, we, we used to be a water fasting, uh, a clinical trial, right? We, mm. uh, our story, Anutra is enough, uh, is enough spring of mm -hmm. university of Southern California. We were funded. Yeah. We were founded uh, by uh, Dr. Longo, the head of the Longevity Institute and USC. And, and we were the results of their water fasting, actually, initiative trial. So they, they, this is 20 plus years ago. They were looking at the benefits of intermittent fasting and then fasting for a day or two or three. And there was a lot of actually benefits on cancer patients. And the first time USC went on a human trial, it partnered with Mayo Clinic to go on a pure water fasting intervention for patients for a patient with cancer and it took a year and a half to just recruit two or three patients because nobody could or wanted to do a four or five day fast but in mice we were showing major benefits on diabetes on cancer on autoimmune so we took all these results in mice to the national sort of health the nih and we asked for grants to go and develop the fasting mimicking diet meaning can we because we were also our founders are experts into what we call the nutrient sensing pathways of the cell. How the cell recognizes food? What are the sensors of the cell? Mm -hmm. And they thought they would devise a, a very specific precision nutrition formulation that would feed the body and the cells, but keep the signals of fasting at the cellular level. So this is why it's called the fasting mimicking diet. You're feeding the body over five days. And I'll tell you how the cell misses that. But at a cellular level and metabolic level, the body doesn't recognize the food. And therefore, you're getting the benefits of a five-day fast. Actually, you're getting even more benefits because you're funding the transformation of the body. When we say autophagy, you get a mobilized lysosomes and others too. So if you don't have minerals, if you don't have the vitamins, if you don't have the macros that you need, you're not going to do that. If you want to push new cells, you get to also feed them. So we're seeing in a lot of cases the fasting and making diet to be not just safer and more compliant and easier to do, but actually in much better results than fasting on certain determinants. And the big question I always get is how can you trick the body into fasting and what is this formulation about? So it, it all goes to how the body understands that you eat. When you eat, there's you know, two macros that stimulates, if you want, the recognition of food. You have the carbs, which stimulates then insulin. It's a growth factor at the systemic level saying, okay, we have carbs, we're growing, we're off fasting. And the proteins trigger exactly similar IGF, insulin-like growth factor. So whenever you have a protein intake, you're also telling the body that I'm, I, have an, I have one of the micronutrients and therefore we're not fasting. So the first step at the systemic level is to not spike insulin and to not spike IGF. And so one of the core formulation of the fasting and vegan diet, we call it prolon in the, uh, for promoting longevity, prolon in the market, is to not spike insulin and not spike IGF. And there's two secrets there, because people wearing CGM now, they say, oh, it's, it did, I did get a spike after, little spike after lunch and a little bit bigger spike after dinner. And we engineered actually two of our soups to do that because you want to feed, you want to create a mini spike of carbs and insulin at night where the body naturally is pushing the growth hormone as well when you sleep so that the muscle is getting the calories and the boost to be preserved. This is why we do better on protecting your body mass than water fast. We're nourishing the muscle and we're giving a signal of double signal of insulin and IGF uh, and, and growth hormone naturally for the muscle to be preserved and to, to, to rebuild. But, the, but it's a small spike. So in general, no big spike of insulin as a response to carb, no big spike of IGF. Now, when you get on the cellular level, the cell perceives nutrition through the PKA pathway, the TOR pathway, and the RAS pathways. And they, they, they interject. There are other mini path, pathways. And so the formulation does not over-trigger these three pathways. We have to study on every ingredient. There's 77 ingredients. Because prolon is a fasting by nourishment, not by starvation. You're getting a lot of nutrients. And we studied 
every combination of nutrients so that the cell does not get satisfied, it's saying, well, I'm getting some nutrients, but I think I got to be cautious that I can still be protective and stay in the fasting levels. And these are the two layers that we need to cover to put the body into. And we do give kickers, you know, with the with the omega supplements, et cetera, to, to end the healthy fats. It's rich in macadamia and pecans and other. It's all plant-based. It's all vegan. There's nothing engineering, engineered in it. So it's clean, vegan. One of the healthiest things you can eat outside of fasting from an ingredient perspective. And we also play on the healthy fast to boost that environment of ketosis and environment of fasting. Yeah. And, and so it's a calorie restricted diet um, and short term, you know, long term calorie restriction. You have a lot of the problems like you talked about where you start to lose the muscle. But these short term bouts of calorie restriction where you're also keeping your insulin and your mTOR pathways down right? your growth pathways down. You're getting all those benefits that you talked about, the stimulation of the autophagy, the stem cells, right? And different things like that, getting rid of the apoptosis, getting rid of these zombie senescent cells. And so can you talk about like, because it's, it's you guys have it all down to a science. And so it's like day one, you're consuming a certain percentage of your normal caloric load, right? And then day two, three, four, five, it's a five day approach, right? Can you break that down, How what it looks like day one through five? Yeah. And I want to clarify, it's not the calorie restriction so much as much as the formulation. Yeah. Because for Alzheimer's, for example, we have for Alzheimer's, for example, we have a fasting mimicking diet that's up to 1,400 and 1,200 calories. So it's it's calorie restriction is part of it, but the precision formulation that does not spike insulin and IGF and does not trigger the nutrient sensing pathways, the redness on the cell is the big key secret. Yeah, because um, you could eat a thousand calories of fruit and it's all sugar. You can eat right. 200 calories. That, yeah, right. And this is why the ketogenic diet, by the way, which could be could be also restrictive, is not getting you into deep ketosis because the protein, the, the cell senses the protein. So you're you're very low on carb, but you're sensing the proteins, and therefore you don't go into full deep fast. And sometimes you can just and people say, oh, "I'm doing juice fasting," or others. I mean, if you if you even with a 300 calorie or 400 calorie you know intake per day, you can. You can excite one of the receptors on the cell, and therefore the cells would would be an in between fast or a partial or a non fast state. So it's very important to this is what took us thirty six million dollars in the research and twelve years literally to get to that formulation. Now we have eighteen universities that have tested Prolon, Stanford, um, uh, University of Miami, USC, UCLA, all the big ones in the U.S. and and, and in Europe. And it took a long, long time. It's it's very it's balancing calorie intake with ingredients and effectiveness on longevity and on, on chronic conditions. But day one is 1,100 calories. And um, and day two, three, and four, and five are 800 calories each of the days. And again, we have a formulation that goes for cancer patients, a little bit more restrictive. We have one for Alzheimer's patients that's even higher in calories. We adjust it to different health conditions. But mm. if you're doing the, 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 the prolon longevity package it's a thousand one hundred calorie day one and then eight hundred calories every day it comes in boxes you get a big box there's one box here behind me you get a box and it has day one day two day three day four day five you open the box of day one you have your breakfast bar you have your soups you have your lunch and your dinner you have the snack and the drinks and the supplements so you don't need you don't need to do anything else you have your drinks you have your hydration you have your pills your supplements of the day and the food um, and you just enjoy five days of a structured, delivered meal, um, and, and, and you get the rejuvenation and the metabolic benefits of it. 